I mean, it's hard to look at the game like from the perspective of what other people see looking at. Um, what I try to assess in an exhibition game like this is what what are we doing pretty well, and what do we need to really work on before you know we've only got five days before our next you know for our official season begins. That's so much foul trouble that we were playing young kids immediately, and I never made a single substitution based on. Um, who needed a break. Every substitution that I made was on, based on foul trouble. The first half we had three separate people running the point position because all of my guards were in foul trouble. Two were freshmen and one was a soft. I think that's a big reason why nothing really seemed like it was you know, very good. Uh, I think our offense, our um, motion offense, that's what we've been doing the longest and I think that probably has the most stability to it. You know, everything from inbounds plays, where people were trying to play other positions because of the lineups we had in, that kind of stuff. It, it all was a little bit out of sync. And so we've, we've just got, you know, we're seeing now what these new rules with officiating is gonna, is gonna create and what it's gonna create is a need to use everyone, potentially, and need to make adjustments um, so that we're not getting in, in as much foul trouble and a need for our players to understand more than one position because they may have to shift and play another position. The only player that did not get into foul trouble was Haley and then she ended up fouling out. Um, so in the first half I, I was able to play her um, and then Imani didn't have any fouls. Um, so. That, that's a good sign. One of our starters wasn't playing yesterday. Pearson. Yeah, and so and so she'll be a starter at the point. Pearson Green, um, Adesso Adaman will be our two guard. Corey Coleman will be our three. Um, Imani will be our four, and Haley will be our five um, to start on, off the bench. And obviously, Kayla Livingston and um, Brooke Smith did a nice job yesterday. Fresh. Olivia Vasco, another freshman. Yeah. We only have one <laughs> sub off the bench who's not a freshman. The bench, I think we have to do by committee. I think we're just going to have to see who's playing well that day, and that's who, you know. So I think what you'll see is a variety of people off the bench for us, which is a little, I mean, I used to establish my top eight pretty quickly, and um, and I, I don't know, I don't know how soon that will happen. or if that will happen this season. Ask our team what do they think our um, strengths are, they're going to say our athleticism. And so I think we need to utilize that, especially in the rebounding you know, realm, because I think that athleticism at times can create issues for boxing out and, and rebounding. So I'm hoping that our athleticism um, in many positions will give us an opportunity to get some rebounds. We'll like, in order to make up for the loss of Shea, that Kirsten, Corey, and Imani, the three of them, are going to have to contribute all very consistent. I mean, and if they all score 13 points a game, then that's going to be uh, a better, I think, um, I think that would be a better goal for us than to have a 22-point score and two 10-point scores. I don't see, um, you know, one of these kids emerging as a kid that can score, you know, 22 a game every single night, but I think they could, can, what we need most from those three is consistent double figure scoring, all three of them, game in and game out.